Okay, here I am. Got my room. A little bit old fashioned on the bed, but it will suffice. And I've been checked in. I got an IV. And I'm just waiting for the surgeon and the anesthesiologist to come chit chat with me. Um, I did not sleep last night. I am like beat, but I was a nervous wreck, so it's to be expected why I couldn't sleep. Um, and there's water over there, and boy, would I love some right now because I've been MPO since midnight. Uh, but yeah, here's my foot. And you can see it's all jacked up. It's very bent, and when I go like this, everything shifts versus my other foot. I can bend it. This one, I have a hard time with moving it. So it's time to get this straightened out because the longer it goes, the more deformed it gets. And yeah, so I'm hoping it goes well today. I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, and then maybe afterwards I'll actually get some sleep. I am anticipating maybe staying overnight here, although I would really love to just bring myself home or back to the hotel and nurse myself. Uh, however, uh, they probably will not let me do that. So yeah, all right, see you in a bit. Three hours later. Well, hey everybody, I am post-op and I am, uh, I'm kind of out of it. Um, getting pain medication. My foot is just on fire. It's burning. It's throbbing. But hey, I expected this to occur after surgery. Um, they ended up doing like the full-on gamut of what they said they were gonna do. He was actually really hoping uh, to do less. Um, unfortunately, I just had too much damage in my foot. So second toe they resected a joint they actually shortened the second toe at the base they did a plantar uh, fascia like repair um the third toe they also um changed that toe as well so both the second and the third toe they have reinforced and straightened and i have um wires in them right now you know i took oral pain medication they gave me some iv pain medication and it's still it's just my foot is just pissed off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. Hold on one second. And here it is. I just have, I have an ice pack on it. And you might be able to see some of the wires in there. And uh, there's a, also a screw. <laughs> now um, straightening that second toe that was like really deformed. All right, that's it. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I had a decent supper. It was like fried rice and chicken. It was good. Um, just been trying to hydrate. Uh, the interesting thing was I did have spinal anesthesia and I couldn't feel anything from my waist down when I woke up and I couldn't move my legs. That was the craziest thing. I'd never felt that before. And uh, I couldn't pee after either. <laughs> so uh, they had to straight catheterize me to get things to wake up so I could pee. Um, now no problems with that. So the surgeon just came to see me, gave me an update. And I am gonna see if I can get some sleep and hopefully I'll get discharged in the morning and head back to my hotel to do some recovering for the next few days. All right, catch you later. All right, well, this is my current state of affair. I am here at the Holiday Inn Express, and I had my first night um, back here last night um, after the surgery by myself, and um, it is not easy. Let me just say that. Hobbling around on crutches, just trying to do stuff is it's just super hard. So, um, with today being my first day uh, back here at the hotel, I will essentially just be doing nothing. Just got back from my post-op appointment. 
Um, they took down the dressing. Uh, of course, the surgeon was there and assessed my leg and everything in my foot and the stitches and the pins in there. Um, did some wound care and then I got my post-op instructions. I got my walking boot. Um, I got new medication prescriptions and the meds are gonna increase so that's a good thing because my foot is just uh, it's just on fire. Um, a lot of swelling. Um, there's quite a few stitches there. Uh, the pins are intact and I'm gonna be on crutches for about two weeks and I need to do wound care to this foot every three days. And then um, the stitches I think are coming out in two weeks from now or a week from now. And then the pins will come out in six weeks. And that's like the most awful thing. That sounds like so long from now. Um, anyway, everything is okay, so no concerns. It looks like I will be able to leave here on Friday and fly back to Koh Samui. So, that's the plan. And um, I'm still just hanging out in the hotel room with my leg elevated and I'm gonna just keep taking it easy, watching movies. Um, there's really not much for me to do other than just to kind of take care of myself and uh, eh. I am finally leaving Bangkok after, gosh, about what, nine or ten days of being in Bangkok um, and taking care of this foot. I'll go ahead and turn the camera around for you. And I am sitting here with my cart and I have my carry-on bag, but I'm using that to prop my foot up because I am actually waiting for assistance. So there's going to be someone coming here to bring me by wheelchair through the security gate and everything. They just jumped right on it as soon as they saw me on crutches hobbling in here with my bags on this cart. They um, came right over to assist me. Uh, it was pretty awesome so I'm pretty impressed for sure. Hopefully it will go smoothly smoothly from here on out um, getting through security and just getting on the plane I'm already exhausted just doing a little bit of hobbling in here just walking in from the taxi to here is is just a lot my foot's already killing me just because it was down um, it needs to be elevated as soon as I put it down it just starts to throb um, but yeah I can't wait to get back to the house. I can't wait to see my dog. She'll get dropped off tomorrow. And all is said and done. So much, so much has happened over the last week or two. And I'm glad to have finally gotten the surgery done. I'm pretty impressed with how things went. So I'll fill you guys in shortly. I'll give some more remarks on that once I go to make this video official put it all together. Um, I'll share with you some of the other details that I discovered throughout this week. Okay, okay, off I go by wheelchair. This nice gentleman behind me is helping me out and can't see him behind my head here, but pretty awesome. I mean, I, like I didn't even send for anybody. They just saw me and came running to help me.
Okay, Kim, what did you conquer today? <laughs> so I flew from Bangkok to Koh Samui, and I had a lot of help at the airport. Everybody just like jumped right in to help me, thank God, because there was no freaking way I could have done this. And then I landed in Samui, and Amanda came to my rescue. Thank you so much, Amanda. <laughs> So she picked me up and she's been picking up food that I dropped on the floor and she's helping me with everything because I'm like, I can't do anything myself. <laughs> but what did you have to do to get back home? Oh my God. So like, I have like, I don't know how many steps there is, like 30 steps. I had to hop up and get up here. Um, my foot is killing me. I won't be going anywhere for a while. So this is where I'll be. But you we have our meal. We're gonna enjoy this meal together. And yeah. Yeah, you went through a lot, but you're here, you're home. Yeah. So let's celebrate yeah. <laughs> with some peace and rest. Yes, absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this fit will be better soon. Yeah.